What's up guys? Matt here. I'm here with the Mark V Volkswagen Jetta. We're having some issues with the suspension, a lot of clunking and just some uh, odd noises. So I want to take the car out with you today and show you what exactly is going on. Then we're going to take it apart and figure out what exactly is here. We've got Cody behind the camera. He's going to be helping out today. So uh, let's get this thing on the road and uh, see what's going on. Did we just lose a chunk of spring? Uh. <laughs> so that's not supposed to happen. There it was. Kind of a rattling noise. Get over on some more bumpy roads and you can... That's the noise. So let's get this car back up on the lift. We'll remove the left wheel and just see exactly what's going on. Pretty sure that the spring has broken off based on this evidence right here. Let's see what we can do to fix it. All right, so generally when you have issues with your spring, one side's gonna be riding lower than the other side. So I've got Cody checking the measurements. 13 and three quarters. So 13 and three quarters on this side. And this is the side that that piece of spring just came off of. And a little over 14 and a quarter on this side. So 14 and a quarter. So we've got about a half inch difference between the driver's side and the passenger side. It's pretty indicative of something going wrong with your spring. So we're gonna take the wheel off, put it up on the lift and uh, see exactly what's going on. Where's the brake? Brake is like right here. You can see the like raw steel. And then here's the factory into the pigtail. And this is what was making all that noise. Yeah, probably. All right, so to remove the spring, we're going to have to remove the entire spring and strut assembly. On these Volkswagens, it's fairly easy in terms of removing parts. Uh, it is a little tricky to finesse the assembly out of the hub. So first, we're going to remove the end link from the front sway bar up to the strut, and then we're going to remove the pinch bolt that's in the hub. After that, we'll take the three top hat bolts off, and that's the only thing really holding in the strut assembly. Then we have to basically push the hub down until we have enough clearance where we can slide the bottom of the strut out of the hub, and uh, we'll try to figure that out. <laughs> Stripped out shit. Is that there? Come on, bub. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Cut it off. Sally drew it Oh, it's three-inch drive, isn't it? Yeah, but put an 18 on it. Yeah, 
<laughs> You're not gonna do narration? I'm pretty sure this will speak for itself. <laughs> it's brief. <pretty f> <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we are not supporting the hub assembly with any sort of mechanics wire or anything like that. I would highly suggest it because as you'll see, we did accidentally pull the inner CV joint out of socket where we had to actually go in, remove the boot, and then line it back up and re-grease it and put the boot back on. That was our bad. So obviously this wasn't a great tutorial. Uh, we didn't really go per spec we cut some stuff off and we got uh, we basically just ripped this thing out of there so obviously we did not remove this thing with the intention of reinstalling the front end link or really any of the the strut assembly <laughs> we are actually going to be installing the ECS tuning street coilover kit that will come in the next couple videos and I'm gonna go through a more in-depth tutorial on removing the strut assembly uh, the correct way and then installing the coilover so stay tuned for that but until then that's pretty much all I've got for you thank you so much for watching if you did like this video give it a like and if you'd like more content like this consider subscribing to this channel I try to post videos every once in a while I'll see you next time all right well let's try to get that off quick the other side? no this are you sure that we should be just letting this hang? Yeah, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Can't go anywhere, remember? That's why you're supposed to remove the axle. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's pulling hard on the, on the CV. That's why I can't go anywhere. Yeah, but it's pulling on it. It's fine. <laughs> They're really meant to drive down the highway and hit all sorts of bumps and shit. Like, it hanging under its own weight is not going to hurt.